I'm Deer. Today, I have a question for you. Do you have a, have you ever thought why ducks don't get wet? Because like, I, like I have like feathers and when I pluck it into water, it gets so soggy and so wet. Why aren't the ducks like that? You know, the ducks even pluck their heads into water and it still comes out like at least reasonably dry, not like soggy, wet, like normal feathers. Have you ever thought about that? Well, I think I have the answer to your question. It's this book. Why Ducks Don't Get Wet. It is just like one of the greatest books because like, like the art and the scenery and the knowledge just packed full in this book. So without further ado, let's get started. Ducks are water birds. All day long, they go in and out of the water. In and out, in and out. No matter how many times they go into the water, ducks don't get wet. Ducks are waterproof. Every duck is waterproof because it has an oil gland near its tail. With its broad bill, the duck strokes this oil gland. Then it smears the oil over its feathers. This is called preening. Ducks spend hours preening themselves. That is how they keep their feathers covered with oil. Their feathers do not get wet because oil and water do not mix. Water rolls right off the oily feathers. Ducks spend most of their time in the water. They splash around in puddles and ponds, in swamps and shallow streams. You can see ducks tipping their heads under the water and tipping their tails up in the air. When ducks dabble in the water this way, they are searching for food. Their webbed feet paddle fast as they tug water weeds with their broad bills. Pintail ducks and mollards search through the water for pond grass and wild rice, for seeds and insects. Blue-winged teals dipped for wild rice, insects, and snails. Shoveler ducks waddle in and out of shallow water. They shovel up mud and strain it from seeds and tiny water plants. They scoop up water and strain it for the insects and shrimp. Wood ducks look for water plants. They eat wild rice, water lily seeds, acorns, and insects. Other ducks are expert divers. Some ducks can dive down 100 feet. This is as deep as a 10-story building is high. They can swim under the water for 300 feet, the length of a city block. When they come up for air, they are dry. Kazabaks and skomps dive for shellfish and water plants, such as wild celery. Harold Quinn ducks dive for insects and fish. So do the buffalo heads. Mergansers dive for fish. With its saw-edged bill, a merganser can catch and hold on to a slippery salmon or trout. Ducks usually find their food in the water or along the shores of lakes and ponds. When the weather gets cold, the river and marshes, ponds and lakes are covered with ice. When the water freezes, crabs and crayfish, duckweed and pondweeds, and all the fish are beneath the ice. Ducks cannot reach this good food. Then the ducks leave for the south. They fly southward to open water where they can find food. Southward fly the dabbling ducks and the diving ducks. Southward fly the ducks at 30 to 70 miles an hour, depending on the wind, as fast as a car. Southward to open water and good duck food fly the ducks. They may fly through sunshine or storm clouds. They may fly through strong winds or light showers. And the raindrops will roll right off their backs. 
If they fly over your house, you may be sure you will see them again next fall. Ducks travel the same route or flyway year after year. Sometimes they fly in a V formation. The leader flies at the point of the V, and the other ducks fan out behind. When the ducks fly low, you may be able to see them clearly. You may be able to hear the hiss and the whistle of the wind as it slips off their oiled feathers. You may be able to hear the thumping of their wings. But when the ducks fly very high, you will not be able to hear them or to see a single duck clearly. You will know that the ducks are passing overhead only when you see the V in the sky that looks like a faint wisp of smoke. You will know the ducks are flying southward for the winter. When spring comes, the ducks will return. They will fly north to dabble and dive in the rivers and lakes, in the ponds and marshes. They will fly back to open water and good duck food. They will fly back north through strong winds and spring rains, and they will always be dry, because ducks don't get wet. The end. So, do you guys like it? Because like. I just love the art. Like I am, I have one hundred percent sure that it has to be watercolor and scanned onto the paper because, like, I know I don't think I have ever seen like digital art this detailed and this textured before. And my favorite page is、um, let me see this one, this one. Look at it. Just just look at this. It's just so. Detailed. I can't even like. It's just so good. I I'm just getting so like happy just seeing that. And like I would love to read your suggestions and what books do you want me to read next and what stuff do you want me to do because I am so interested in all of them. Hopefully you would write it down in the comments down below and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this. Channel, so you won't miss any fantastic videos like this anymore. But now, goodbye.